During this webinar, we highlight the efficiency of the NTPL hybrid planar transformer versus a traditional wire wound coil design in a circuit application. Vichet NTPL 2516 planar transformers provide a very high power density of 300 watts in a low profile 16.5 millimeter package. In addition, we are able to customize the package to meet specific design requirements, like a special output voltage or a center tapped winding with no tooling required. Vichet has a patent pending on the unique winding construction used in this series. To protect the windings, the coil is overmolded and this makes it ideal for ruggedized applications. Overmolding also enhances the dielectric capability, which is 1500 volts AC. Another feature is the large surface area, which aids cooling. Standard operating frequencies range from 100 kHz to 500 kHz, but these can be extended or customized if required. The split primary design is flexible to allow for efficient 120 volt or 380 volt operation. Leakage inductance and other winding parasitic variations are minimal due to the construction method of the planar coil. The operating temperature is minus 55 C to plus 130 C with derating of power above 105 C. Given the above mentioned features, MTPL hybrid planar transformers are ideally suited for industrial, military, aerospace and medical applications. Traditional planar designs have a copper fill factor of 35% compared to the MTPL's 50%. The hybrid planar transformer also has superior isolation between windings and high voltage windings are an option. The windings are fully sealed and can be tested to mill PRF 27 requirements. Conductor copper thicknesses can be 0.5 mm and thicker. This is very difficult to achieve in embedded printed circuit board winding. For further flexibility and to maximize performance, it is possible to adjust turns or provide higher turn counts. The windings can also be interleaved to improve cooling and to reduce the proximity effect that minimizes AC winding losses. All windings are thin foils, which provide a very favorable skin depth to conductor thickness ratio. Available output voltages are 12 volts, 15 volts and 24 volts, with a split primary and two secondary output windings. The maximum recommended power level is 300 watts with radiation cooling, and primary magnetizing inductance is 450 microhenries minimum. Leakage inductance ranges from just 1.3 to 2 microhenry at 100 kilohertz. Rated current is between 12.5 and 22 amps with a 40 degree C temperature rise with secondaries connected in parallel. Through hole terminations are standard but can be customized to be surface mount if required. Overall package size is 1.01 inches by 1.17 inches and a profile height of 0.65 inches maximum. Vichet performed a circuit level test comparison of the MTPL 2516 S12V hybrid planar transformer and a traditional PQ26-20 bobbin wound design. To make the test more meaningful, the part sizes were chosen with equal footprint and board area. Both parts were driven in a full bridge configuration with an input voltage of 115 volts at a frequency of 156 kilohertz and an output voltage of 12 volts at 175 watts. The DC resistances and leakage inductances were matched to ensure that the copper and winding structure were fully comparable in both parts. The parts were installed in the same board design and in the same socket location. Thermocouples were embedded in the windings and on the cores to accurately determine power losses and also to measure the temperature rise. Only radiation cooling was permitted and after 30 minutes of operation, the maximum hotspot temperature of the windings and core were measured. For calculation purposes, all the values were averaged to determine overall power loss using the formula shown. Results for the MTPL 2516 were a temperature rise of 55 C compared to 82.5 C for the PQ 2620. 
Overall, this equates to a power loss of only 2.5 watts for the hybrid planar versus 4.78 watts for the bobbin wound design, based on the surface area differences shown in the table. In conclusion, the MTPL product was 47.6% more efficient, with a 23% smaller volume and at a 33% lower profile height. In this chart, you can see the power loss comparison from 50 to 175 watts. There are advantages under all conditions, but the largest positive variances are at the higher output levels. Hybrid planar transformers are ideal for power switch mode applications, including forward converters, half bridge converters, and full bridge and resonant converters. The MTPL and other customized designs have power levels from 10 watts up to 750 watts. Recommended switching frequencies range from 100 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz, and input voltages from 10 volts to 500 volts. Customization to customer specific requirements is fully available. MTPL 2516 planar transformers provide high power density in a very low profile package below 16.5 millimeters tall. They have a copper fill factor of 50% versus 35% for traditional planar designs. Windings have superior turn to turn isolation for high voltage windings. For high current windings, heavy conductor copper thicknesses are available. The AC coil losses are minimized through interleaved windings and also thin foils. In summary, when benchmarked against traditional bobbin wound designs, efficiencies can be as much as 48% higher. These transformers can be used in a variety of switch mode power applications in a wide range of market segments, including industrial, military, aerospace, and medical.